Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Grav Assault Rifle that got added in with Season 6 at Tier 31. Now, I've used this weapon extensively. I have it dark ether camoed, I have it max level, all that stuff. So I'm going to break it down for you guys and give you guys my honest opinion on this weapon. But before we do that, let's jump into the attachments that I use for this weapon. All right, guys, so starting it off with the optic, I actually don't use one. It has the exact same iron sights as the Galil from Black Ops 1, which is one of my personal favorite weapons of all time. So I really didn't need to add an optic at all. So I just decided not to. For the muzzle, I use the Muzzle Brake 5.556, or 5.6 rather, for vertical recoil control, pretty standard there. For the barrel, I use the Task Force Barrel for more damage. More damage is so, so important, especially on Forsaken. When you have so many different enemies past round 30, you really need the extra damage boost. There's so many Disciples, you get a bunch of Mimics, and then of course the Abomination can be a pain in the butt if you're using this weapon. Next up guys, for the body, I use the mounted flashlight just for more salvage so I can upgrade my weapon faster. For the underbarrel, I use foregrip just for the vertical or horizontal recoil control. Next up for the magazine, I use a 40 round speed mag because this is the fastest loading out of all the different mags for this weapon and it's really, really good. Next up for the handle, I use speed tape just so I can aim down sights faster. And last but not least, I use the marathon stock for the stock so that I get a faster sprint to fire time. So overall, what do I think of this weapon? Well, there's a few things that I have to say right off the bat. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this weapon is so underwhelming. I was expecting to go into the game and feel exactly like the BO1 Galil, the BO2 Galil, just a really, really, really solid weapon. And unfortunately, that is not the case. I've had trouble killing the Abomination the first one to get to pack a punch with this weapon uh, whether i get it green and have ring of fire it's still i can't even kill the abomination half the time unless i'm shooting its face directly and that's honestly a huge problem in my opinion this weapon just feels so weak compared to other weapons now assault rifles are obviously not going to be as strong uh, especially like later on in the rounds once you get to about 30 they start dropping off really hard even with legendary and i found this to be a huge problem with this weapon i was just training around in the spawn room and i had to leave because i literally could not survive because there's so many disciples when you get an abomination on you at the same time it's just really really bad now i also use this weapon on die machine i don't have game play of that this is or i played die machine to actually get this gun done and it's pretty good against megatons but it still has the exact same problem where you can't kill enough zombies with ring of fire to deal enough damage to the megaton at the same time when it spawns in the middle of a round and i feel like that's the huge drawback with this weapon it just does not have enough firepower to damage the enemies that you face and that is a huge huge problem now as far as like is this weapon good and fun to use no it's not great but it is fun to use because it does feel exactly like a glil even more so than its counterpart in black ops 4 which was also called the grab I think that the Black Ops 4 grab was a little bit better than this one, and it felt a lot stronger than this one does particularly. Now, I wouldn't say this weapon is absolutely terrible, but I would probably give it about a 7.5, maybe a light 8, possibly, but I just don't feel like it's as good as some of the other assault rifles that are in the game. Obviously, there's so many different ones that I would say are a little bit better than this. The AK-47 is much better in my personal opinion the Krig is also better uh, so it's kind of a middle of the road assault rifle it's not gonna blow your mind and make it amazing but it still is good to get it you know upgraded and get all the attachments and you can figure out other attachments if you don't like my setup but overall unfortunately I'm gonna give this weapon like a 7.75 uh, which is honestly pretty bad uh, when it comes to the assault rifle that are also available i just don't think it's as good and i wanted it to be great but unfortunately it isn't so anyways guys thanks for watching the video i'll see you in the next one peace out 